Emma. Hey. Recording from post therapy check in as promised. Sit, sit, sit. Can you please get uh, Michael a ginger ale? So, how was it? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't exactly know how it's supposed to work. Uh, I get what it's supposed to accomplish, but I don't know. I just don't see that this is a way to get there. Well, did you like the therapist? He's okay. Was he easy to talk to? Not really, no. He's a good listener, I guess, and he tells me encouraging things that I'd like to believe. Like, thank you. Um, thank you. If I open up and talk about what happened, eventually I'll, I don't know, it'll lose its power. Okay, I know it seems like a lot of garbage right now, sitting in a room with some guy you don't know, him telling how you're supposed to feel when he can't possibly have any idea what you've been through. Were you in the room? No, I've just been to tons of therapy. But I can tell you that if you give it time, it will work. Yeah, no, I did for Dad and Christina and Dante. Dante? Yeah, it's a standard police procedure when you shoot somebody in the line of duty. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. It's, 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 it's cool, though, to have someone right there who kind of knows what you've been through. I'm glad you have Dante's support. So did I uh, pass the inspection? <laughs> Abby's waiting for me. <sighs> All right, Mom, don't start. I need to talk to you about Abby. I have a few concerns. Mom, I'm not going to let you talk bad about Abby. I'm not going to talk bad about Abby. I don't have a problem with Abby, OK? I have a problem with what she does for a living, and I'm not making moral judgments here. I'm not. Andrew, listen to me. I'm worried about you. I'm worried about the environment that she works in. I don't want you getting swept up in some police raid or being seen in a strip club by some rookie cop trying to make a name for himself. Michael, you're on parole, okay? Yeah. Don't forget that. I need you to be careful. I know, Mom, I am. You swear? I swear. Give me a hug. We need to talk, niece. Do you see my son standing here? <clears throat> Is it too much to say hello? Hello, Michael. Hey, Luke, how you doing? I'm um, ahead. Uh, Do you need any money? No, I'm good. Do you have a coat? Because if you don't have a coat, I can get the Mom, I'm everything. fine, really, thank you. See ya. See ya. Bye. That's my son. In whom you are well pleased, I think. He's an extraordinary kid. No, I take that back. He's an extraordinary man, and I couldn't be more proud. Careful, Caroline. You're getting dangerously close to the edge of a genuine emotional breakthrough. Hey, Abby. Hi. How you doing? Good. <sighs> so, how did tonight go? Well, can we start with the fact that I hate therapy? <laughs> it's torture, sitting there trapped like a rat for an hour, talking about things I don't want to remember when this guy looks at me all dispassionate. I, I, I don't know. He, he asks questions that I'd probably kick his ass for for anywhere else but his office. He writes these stupid notes in his notepad like I'm some crossword puzzle he'd like to finish before he goes and trades in his Mercedes. <laughs> How do you really feel? I'm sorry you asked, so... I did. You know what? And I'm glad that you can be honest with me. Are you gonna quit? No, no. I, I said I'd give therapy a shot, so I'm gonna stick with it. You're an inspiration. Uh -huh. It's true. I mean, I'm proof. I'm going to follow your example and try to be as brave about what I'm about to face. What are you talking about? While I was all bruised and battered in the hospital again from Brandon, I, you know, I just, I realized that I don't want to live my life like this anymore. Perched on the dark side of everything, trying to stay balanced. I know the feeling it's a scary place. It all ties together. You know, working at a place like Bonds, doing what I do, it, it attracts a certain element. I mean, the money's great, but it's it's like a drug. And I want to get out before I get seriously addicted. So I've decided that I'm going to quit stripping. Well, yeah, Abby, that, that's great. No, oh, John Zakara might not think so, though. He, he gave me an advance when I needed to pay my tuition. It's 
It's gonna be kind of tough to come up with the money to pay him back. Uh, I'm gonna get some resistance. Okay, well, I'll go and see him with you, um, for moral support. No, I, I wouldn't no, you didn't. ask you, didn't. you to you didn't. do that. I mean, if you're sure, I would really like that. I'm sure. Look, I know Johnny, so me talking to him might help. Hey, come on in. Thank you. Have a seat. Can I get you guys anything to drink? Uh, no thanks. I'm good, thanks. Uh, I, uh, I heard about your attack. I'm very sorry. If there's any action that you need me to take on your behalf, please just let me know. The cops are handling it. Okay, well, if you ever find that you are dissatisfied with their efforts, let me know if there's anything I can do. All right, in the meantime, I'm beefing security up in and around the club. I want my girls safe. Actually, that's what, you know, leads me to want to see you. I'm done with stripping. I just don't have it in me anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you understand. Yeah. But just so you know, there could be some complications. You gave Abby an advance on her salary to help her pay for school. Um, and I am so grateful, Mr. Zakara. The manager at Vons would have never done that for me. And I will make sure that you get every cent of your money back as soon as I start working again. And look, if you don't want to wait, I can just pay you back. It's not. No, Michael. You, you can I just you can pay me back instead. It's fine. That won't be necessary. All right, I, I can wait. But you may find it harder than you realize to. Meet this obligation and to keep up with school and personal finances, so just keep this in your back pocket, all right? If you choose to come back to Vaughn's, your job will be waiting for you. That is very generous of you. I think I'll be okay, though. I thank you for your understanding. Yeah, my pleasure. It's always nice to have a Corinthos all you want.